Welcome to the Creative Hugsa. In this tutorial, we will be adding patterns to clothing in a Fendi photo. This technique is also useful to use if you want to create clothing mockups to add your designs on to showcase. First, go to File Open and select the image of the man. Go to the Tools panel and grab the Pen tool. Take the Pen tool and make a selection or an outline of the right sleeve on our right of the man's shirt. In the Swatches panel, turn the white color off. We're using the pen tool because it allows you to make more of a precise selection rather than using one of the selection brush tools. Plus, you're able to edit your selection more by adjusting the nodes. If you need to switch to the node tool, press and hold the control key and then make adjustments to your node. You can also add nodes if you need to while holding the control key. After you finish selecting the right sleeve with the pen tool, go to the context toolbar and click selection. Next, go to the channels panel. Scroll down to pixel selection. Right click on pixel selection and select create spare channel. Then right click on the spare channel that was created and click rename. Name the channel right sleeve. After that, press Ctrl plus D to deselect the sleeve or go up to the select menu and click deselect. Now grab the pen tool again. This time make a selection of the left sleeve. Once you've selected the left sleeve, go to the context toolbar and click selection. With the sleeve still selected, go to the channels panel. Then right click on pixel selection and click create spare channel. Right click on the new channel and click rename and name this channel left sleeve. Then press Ctrl plus D to deselect the selection. Next, go to the tools panel and select the pen tool. Take the pen tool and select the middle area of the shirt.
Make sure that when you're around the arm area, you make your selection close to the arms. After you finish creating the selection, go to the context toolbar and click selection. With the selection still active, go to the channels panel and right click on the pixel selection. Then click create spare channel. Right click on the new channel and select rename. Name this selection body. Then press ctrl plus D to deselect the selection. Now let's add our pattern. Go to file open and select the camouflage pattern. This will open in a new window. Copy the pattern, then paste the pattern onto the file with the man. Grab the move tool and stretch the pattern over the t-shirt area. With the pattern still selected, go to the layers panel and decrease the opacity of the pattern to about 40%. Then go to the liquify persona. We're going to use the liquify persona to help us warp the pattern, which will essentially wrap the pattern to our shirt. In the liquify persona, select the liquify freeze tool. This tool is used to protect selected areas from getting warped. It protects the area by adding a mask once you select a specific area. We want to use this tool to select some of the creases of the shirt. That way when we go to warp the pattern, the creases will remain untouched and that will give a more realistic look to the shirt. Take the freeze tool and start selecting the creases of the shirt. To increase the size of the brush, press the right bracket key. To decrease the size of the brush, press the left bracket key. After you've selected the creases of the shirt, select the liquify push forward tool. This tool pushes the pixels in the direction you're stroking it. 
We'll use this tool to push parts of the pattern around. To increase the breast size, press the right bracket key. To decrease the breast size, press the left bracket key. Once you've moved the pattern around some, press apply. This will put you back in the photo persona. Now, select the pattern in the layers panel. Press Ctrl plus J twice to make two duplicates of the pattern. You should have a total of three pattern layers. Select the first pattern layer and name it right sleeve. Next, select the second pattern layer and name it left sleeve. Then, select the third pattern layer and name it body. Turn off the left sleeve and body layers. After that, select the background layer in the layers panel. Then, go to the channels panel. Right click on the right sleeve channel and select load to pixel selection. This will reactivate our right sleeve selection we created earlier. Now, select the right sleeve layer in the layers panel. Then, click the mask layer icon in the layers panel to add a mask to the sleeve layer. Then, press Ctrl plus D to deselect the selection. Now, turn the left sleeve layer back on. Then, select the background layer. With the background layer selected, go to the Channels panel. Right click on the left sleeve channel and click Load to Pixel Selection to activate the left sleeve selection. Then, select the left sleeve layer in the Layers panel. Click the Mask Layer icon in the Layers panel to add a mask. After that, press Ctrl plus D to deselect. Now, turn on the Body layer. Next, select the Background layer, then go to the Channels panel. In the Channels panel, right-click on the Body channel and click Load to Pixel Selection. Then, select the Body layer in the Layers panel. After that, click the Mask Layer icon in the Layers panel. Press Ctrl plus D to deselect. In the Layers panel, select the three layers of the sleeve, right sleeve, left sleeve, and the body. Make sure the opacity of these layers are back at 100%. Then, change the Blend Mode. For this shirt design, you can use Multiply, Color Burn, and possibly Overlay. I chose to use Multiply. And this is one way of adding patterns to clothing in a Fendi photo. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload.